Hello, I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to blend two videos in Final Cut Pro. If you want to composite or layer two videos or transition between videos, or just create a cinematic look, you're in the right place. I'll show you how to do all of it. In this video, I'll show you how to blend two videos with different layers, blend modes, and the opacity parameter in Final Cut. Then I'll show you how to keyframe a gradual blending. I'll also show you two effects that make blending videos really easy. And at the end, I'll show you how to blend modes really quick using the built-in transitions. One of the first ways to blend video is to stack them in layers, one on top of the other, like I've got right here in my timeline. Got this clip of a woman doing a peace sign on top of another clip of the same woman doing a peace sign, but in a different position. Whatever clip is on top is what we will see. So right now I cannot see this clip below. If I deactivate the top clip, then we see this one below. If you want to blend these two, a quick way to do that is to use the blending mode but it needs to be on the top layer. So select the top layer, go to Video Inspector, and under Compositing, you'll see Blend Mode. Click on the pop-up menu. We have a lot of choices here. They do different things, so play around with them to see what you can get. I like the overlay. This looks good. Let's set the Blend Mode back to Normal. And now let's use Opacity. I can use this slider to reduce the opacity of the top clip to see more of the bottom clip. Let's set this to about 30. See how that looks. We can also keyframe Opacity to give us a transition from one clip to the other. I've got my main clip here in the timeline and I want to switch to this clip. Right now it's a hard cut. But if I go to the top clip, go to the beginning, and set a keyframe for opacity, and pull it down to zero, we'll see the clip underneath it. I'll move forward in time, and now I'll add a new keyframe simply by moving the slider to 100%. Let's take a look. So instead of a hard cut, it gradually switches or blends to the next video clip. Another way to blend videos is to use the built-in keyer effects. Go to the effects browser and scroll down to the keying section. Drag and drop the keyer effect onto your top clip and you'll see immediately that we have some blending going on. You can tweak with this to get different looks but basically what this is doing is it's taking a certain colors out. If you look at this it looks like it's taking out the dark portions of the clip. Let's turn it off. It's taking out her jacket and her hair and her jeans because they're darker and the, and the bridge as well. We can say we don't want to take that out. Maybe we want to take the sky out. So we'll click on this and we'll sample the color in the canvas. We'll click and drag. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now Here's something interesting. If I turn this bottom clip off, you'll see that all we're left with is the bridge and herself. And most of the sky is taken out. So I'm going to enable the bottom clip. And so we can see through that now into the bottom clip because we have that transparency by taking that out. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. You can also blend these two videos using a mask. In the effects browser, go to the mask section and drag and drop draw mask on to the top clip. Nothing happens. That's because we haven't drawn our mask. You'll see right here in the corner, it says click to add a control point. So I'm going to add a control point here and I'm just going to kind of follow her roughly all the way around. And to complete the mask, we hover over the first control point and click. And now look at that. We can see the video clip below with this one on top. We can feather this mask as well to make it a little more subtle. 
We could invert the mask. We can also control the opacity. Let's take a look. It's not my best work, but it blends. Now you can keyframe all of those control points right here if you want and change them to move with the video. Or you can also keyframe the position of the mask so that it, the whole thing moves with the video. Let's say you don't want to stack or layer them. You want to move from one clip to another without jumping. Final Cut has some great built-in transitions for this. Go to the transition browser, then go to the blurs section. Let's try this simple blur. Drag and drop it between your clips. Play it back. Here's what it looks like. So the first clip blurs out as the other clip fades on and starts blurry and then becomes clear. You can also tweak the amount of blur in the inspector here. Next go to the dissolve section. Let's take a closer look at the cross dissolve transition. Drag and drop the cross dissolve in between your clips. This is more of a blending transition. Notice the first clip fades out as the second clip fades in. We can also select the transition and change some different parameters there. We can change the look of it. Let's try bright. We can change the amount and then we can change the speed of the transition and the amount of that speed. As you can see, transitions are a quick way to blend two videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Congrats! You're now a video blending black belt. And I have a trophy for you. It's a free pack of Final Cut Pro plugins. These will make you feel professional and are a piece of cake to use. It's worth $138, but you get it for free. Just click the link below to get your free gift.